What's up guys? Welcome back to Art Statue Collector's channel. Today we are going to take an in-depth look at another XM Studios prototype. This is one for scale Nightcrawler from X-Men Classic line. So let's get him assembled and check out the details. All right, let's start from the base. So down here you see the danger room and you see the uh, mechanical parts of it underground, just like every other X-Men. Also moving up, you're gonna see a uh, Sentinel's hand with explosion in the middle and you see this tentacle, just mechanical tentacle that just came out of it. Very colorful. And then up here you see the transportation of Nightcrawler itself, moving all the way up here where he is just jumping out of uh, Sentinel's hand in a dynamic pose with explosion right behind his back. Okay, let's take a look at Nightcrawler himself. So he has on uh, the traditional suit with modern touch. Uh, you can see the white boot with a red outline here and most of it, he is in a tight leather outfit with some texture and a red armor around. You can see it on his shoulder and some elbow pad with a gauntlet as well, matching his boots. Now, he has a tail that's coming out of the smoke. Also, he's holding a caliber in his right arm right here. And the portrait, it's just him grinning with the hair flowing upward. Pretty cool. All right, the switch out that you have here is another portrait. This one is angry with open mouth. Very cool. And then you also have the right arm holding the caliber with another left arm switch out holding the caliber as well. Uh, and this one, you get the tail holding a sword. That's pretty cool. So you can, uh, you know, just play with all three swords. All right, let's check out the measurement. Uh, let's start from the base, just the base alone. See, it is about 39 centimeter um, diameter, I, I guess. Yeah, it's round. All right, now let's check out the height all the way to the tip of the blade. It is around 78 centimeter. So, yeah. That's pretty tall. And the depth, wow, hold up. The depth is around 48 centimeter if you use this sword right here. And the length, just about 42 centimeter. So that's not too bad, okay. Okay, so uh, I moved Nightcrawler where my X-Men's are and you can see that it hardly fit the top shelf right here. It's just touching it. And this shelf is 75 centimeter tall, so you're gonna need at least 77. Just keep that in mind. But uh, you can see like um, other X-Men pieces right here. How it looks together. Not really with the X-Force, but you know, you get the idea. So that's pretty cool. I think it just stand out more than other pieces because being so dynamic and all, very cool.
Okay, so as you can see, it's very dynamic and um, I'm gonna give you guys my thought. Let's check out the base first. So uh, this is the Danger Room base, just like every other X-Men in the series. Um, probably the same intricate details, metal parts, everything's broken, all damaged up, which is cool. Uh, one thing that I noticed really, like when an X-Men piece has a Danger Room base, it adds a lot of weight to it for some reason, I don't know why. And it's very heavy. Uh, but as far as details, great. And then, uh, you know, like mechanical parts that are coming out, like all the wiring, these are real wire, like you can, you know, kind of move it around. Very cool. Uh, then moving up to the Sentinel hand, it's same metallic looking, all beat up, broken. And it's very big as well compared to like Beast or anything else in this line. But um, the color is a bit dull. I mean, you actually have to see it in person to actually, you know, see the blue inside this. Uh, maybe they should have made it a little bit more saturated here so it can separate it from the base. Now, uh, the smoke, this is very, uh, they did a very good job of this and there's a lot of colors, uh, shadows and everything in here just make it really stand out. Very cool. And then the mechanical part right here that will go with some other X-Men piece as well that makes, uh, kind of give the piece more movement. All right, and this little teleportation piece right here that connects to the base and it's just continued to the back of Nightcrawler himself. You know, that looks pretty cool. Uh, some people might not like it, saying it's like look kind of like a tumor on his back, but I think it just gives the story and the more dynamic to the piece. Also, the color is matching, which is uh, this one is a bit lighter, but it works. Now, to the Nightcrawler himself, I think they did a great job of sculpting and putting details, and uh, they kind of designed the modernized outfit for him. I think it's just fitting. I like the white glove that uh, cut with the red color. Looks really great. And uh, the only skin color you see is on his face. And that's good at coloring as well. You can see the yellow eyes, uh, detail on the teeth. The hair is flowing very nicely with the blue highlight in it. I like that scope. Yeah, but other than that, the switch out is pretty cool. Uh, the caliber itself, the prototype is just like uh, plastic, but the real one, I assume, is going to be metal as well, hopefully. The tail, not much going on. It's just a regular blue, but um, if you can see, it's kind of off blue from his face. Maybe it should have been a bit more uh, textured or, uh, you know, different layer of blue to make it match. All right, I switch out all the parts and as you can see, it looks a lot better now. You know, with his screaming portrait, I think that just fits a lot better. Also with all the weapons drawn, even from his tail, it just gives a lot more dynamic to the piece. Looks really cool. This, I would go for this look all day. Okay, overall, I think it's a great piece and definitely X-Men fan would love this. I think it's really dynamic and something different that we haven't seen for a long time. Uh, you know, the details and uh, paint job, everything is just on par. All the switch out that they gave us, that's really cool. Uh, the only uh, concern that I have really is how dynamic it is and it's only sitting on one peg which is pretty small so that's kind of concerned me because you know how XM does it you know like uh, <laughs> this piece by itself is pretty heavy you know and I don't think it's going to lean it's gonna break man like I don't think the the weight of this leg can actually hold up all that weight up top so that's kind of concerned me. I don't know how they're going to change that, but uh, yeah, they're gonna have to find some way to actually um, 
give the collector like um, you know the confidence of buying this piece I personally would buy it if I'm going to be keeping my X-Men line but I'm not going to so this this piece is open for pre-order like last week so definitely still open for pre-order but uh, if you want to you can ask him like what they are going to do differently as far as the prototype yeah that's the only thing that I'm concerned with is the peg on the left leg uh, hmm. I don't know what else I can say about this piece other than that and some detail on um, the tail but everything else looks pretty good like I said the color on uh, the fingers of Sentinel should have been a little bit more saturation to separate it from the base and the metallic look just a bit you know everything else just looks great man all right guys that's it for the in-depth look at the nightcrawler and also the last of the prototype of this lot if you live in bangkok you can go check them out at toys king store again thank you for watching and leave the comment if you like and i'll see you guys on the next video man peace